Hello, citizens of Melonville. And welcome to this video. We're playing Homestuck, or reading Homestuck. Again, yay. 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 Yep, and <coughs> last time we messed around in John's room. Yeah, that was pretty fun. Yeah. Fun times. Now we're going to uh, read this page and then mm, most likely talk, talk to Turn Tech Godhead. Oh yeah, probably. Yeah. I wonder who All it right. is. Wait, did I ever say his name last one? I'm not sure. Oh well. I'm not sure. Well, um, I guess okay. I, I will start reading then. I probably should have grabbed a glass of water. You don't think the situation is quite, di quite dire enough to go all the way to earn courts this... Whatever that word is, but... But you still feel the pester chum client should reflect your mood in some way. Bully will have to do. You guess. This is unsurprising... This unsurprisingly does nothing whatsoever. Oh right, you forgot your chum is still pestering you. Answer chum. <clears throat> yeah, remember, oh. we're gonna keep our char we're gonna stick a to our characters. Alright. Like a man. Yeah, manly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Testosterone. I'm is sorry. it there? Please say yes. Maybe you can pl play with with TV, she's been bothering, she's been pestering me all day about it. She's been, ma she's macking on me so hard all the time, I feel embarrassed for her. But me, I mean, not that I can blame her or anything. Uh, yes, it is understandable because you are really attractive. <laughs> I am attracted to you. Thank you. JK, haha. Ha. No, I don't have it yet. My dad has the mail, and I guess I have to go get it from him and see if it's there. And I've been busy spending all afternoon shitting around with my stupid Silodex. It's so frustrating. What's your modus? What? How do you re retrieve artifacts from it? Oh. Like, one at a time, I guess? If I put too much in, something falls out. Stack? <laughs> what is yours? Hash map. My bro taught me a tr few tricks. He basically knows everything and it's awesome. Uh, what the hell is that? You should probably brush up on your data structure. I guess. Did you at least alloc allocate your spi spice strife <laughs> specifics? Nope. It could free up a card for you. Plus, let's plus it lets you attack stuff whenever things get too hot to handle, which is never what have you got? Well, I've got a hammer, but it's trapped under some arms. Wow, you really suck at this, don't you? Just get rid of the arms and then allocate allocate the hammer to the specibus. How? I don't know. Just use the arms on any old thing. See if it works. Done. Or combine fake arms with cake. This is you, I believe. Oh. Okay. You stick the fake arms in the cake on your bed. This definitely makes the cake at least 300% more hilarious. You're sure uh, Colonel Sassaker would know the precise index of elevated hilarity. Allocate hammer to strife specifics. Specifics. Look at all yeah. those things. Looks. Wow. wow. So... Out of that list, what do you think you'd want? Uh, trophy kind. Trophy kind? <laughs> Wax, I want the trophy. Wait, no. Wait. Oh, there's, there's a, a lot. bomb kind in here. <laughs> Seriously, bomb kind. Oh, no, no. Ice skate kind. That'd be mine. <laughs> Ice skate kind? <laughs> oh. Yeah, oh, that's no. That's cool. I'd probably that's, take. That's I'd too kind. Probably take a. Mo knowing me, I'd probably take a broom or something like that. <laughs> Hair dryer take kind. A, ooh, or a vacuum cleaner. Ca vacuum cleaner. Where is I saw a vacuum cleaner. Yeah, um, vacuum kind right there. Well, either way, let's continue. Yeah, you check okay. the back of your strike set specibus for the ki kind 
abstratus you have the in, you had in mind for it. John, select hammer. Your strife specimus has been allocated with the hammer kind abstratus. The hammer has been moved from your capture log deck to your strife deck. Report progress to TG. Okay, I did it. Hammerkind? Yeah. Okay, that will be the permanent allegation for your specimens. I guess I should have mentioned that. Uh... I hope you like hammers, dude. Yeah, that's fine, I guess. I can't imagine it's going to be all that relevant. Catalog Colonel's big book. Now that you've got some space in your Silidex to work with, you figure you might as well start squandering it immediately. Ordinarily, this ridiculous book is way too carry, way too heavy to carry around in any particular way. You guess maybe this is one respect in which cards present some convenience. John, examine Game Room. Oh, uh, magazine. John, read an article. <clears throat> yes, got this. So, okay. Spurb is this game that a lot of cats seem hella pumped of. And this be beta is sitting on my desk for review, so I'm like, man, I'll write something. But, I don't know. I'm like, so, this is about houses or some noise? That's fine. I'm sure, sure that's fucking dynamite in a hag bag for some brosives. But all I'm saying is that when, when you do, when do you get to crash anything while you're you're playing house or some shit? Are you get ever in je jeopardy of getting mud in your doll's dress or whatever from busting out? And I quote, "The mad stuns all whipped up ins." I. Don't Know what I'm saying, bro? Your man, bro? Your ma? I didn't actually play this game, but I get give it a real 1.5 hats out of five hats. Give it real. At this point, I like to give a shout out to my boy Dennis, who who was watching, who was over the other day. We we're chilling in front of the Dark Knight, and he was so psyched out, psyched, psyched, psyched of it, uh, y'all. So this one time, time he was leaning across. Leaning against the screen, and the ship popped open, and the black back desk w was wet, and he slipped down the stairs and broke his thumb on the lawn. It wasn't a long fall, but hey, I guess the thumb bone wasn't made for supporting the blunt of a huge useless tool, tool against wet grass. We never did watch Dark Knight on account of Ron tr trucking his bowler candy at, as girth to the hospital, but it's but it's cool. I still got another watch in me. Brotel Rwanda. Bro notes. Dennis was so wasted. Ha <laughs> ha. I mean, damn. Okay. Oh. I I was very proud of that. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. All right. Capture log game, bro. It might come in handy if you ever need something that burns easily. <laughs> <laughs> Capture log. Magician's hat. You ex expand and your final card on the magician's hat. Get funny glasses, too. You don't have a free card in your Silidex. However, you are able to merge the Beagle Puss with the, magi with the magician's hat to create a clever disguise. Clever disguise? Oh. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Clever disguise. Where disguised to fool dad? John? Who is this John you speak of? You are quite certain there has never been or ever will be. Yeah, this is a really shitty disguise. While you are we wearing the items, they remain on the, co on the card, but it is temporarily removed from the desk, thus freeing up the cards beneath it. John, leave room. You exit into the hallway. On one hallway, on one wall hangs a picture of a fellow who sure knows how to have a laugh. A man after your own heart. You always thought he looked a lot like Michael Sarah, but your dad swears on the many hallowed tombs of Egypt that it is not. You're not sure about that, though. 
On the other wall is one of your dad's stupid clowns, or harlequins, as he is quick to correct anyone who would venture such brazen assumption. Go down. Hey, the two <coughs> screens. <clears throat> the cursive odor, odor of fresh bathing baking wafts into your newfound nostrils. Something is brewing in the kitchen. It must be the cooking of your arch nemesis, Betty Crocker. And the rich buttery aroma of her plot stinks into the high to the high heaven. This mission is gonna be more difficult than you have imagined. And the link takes you to a Wikipedia page of Betty Crocker. Oh I wonder if references. No, oh, wait, darn. Oh, that'd be awesome if they found. I wonder if there was ho Homestuck mentioned in here. I know, I'm trying to look. <laughs> I don't think so. Hey, it does. Wait, really? Yeah, push Control F. Control F. Oh, by yeah. The, by the way, Control F is very good when you're trying to research stuff. But yeah. Yeah, I, I use it all the time to cheat on my Spanish class. Yeah. <laughs> wow, man. Wow. <laughs> In the webcomic Homestuck, Betty Crocker is used as a plot element through the duration of the story. Betty Cro yeah, Betty Crocker's corporation, down it was Crocker Corp, and building commercial drones, hiding some, some mole package. One of the char characters, Drain Crocker, is a Harris, a new company based on Betty Crocker. That will come in later, at like the sixth act. Yeah. Wait, no, this is you, isn't it? Yeah, it's oh, you. Yeah. You check out the shelves of fanciful har- Sorry, fanciful harlequins. Looking, look at this fucking garbage. You hate this stuff. Funny is funny, but your dad sure can be a real cornball. Sometimes at night you pray for burglars. <laughs> Ex John, examine fireplace. <clears throat> a bright orange flame flickers in the fireplace. It doesn't matter that it's April. It's not terribly chilly outside. In a home, a fireplace needs a fire. Because that's what a fireplace is for. A fireplace belongs in a fireplace. Damn it. Catch a pack of gorilla. <laughs> all, at all times, without explanation. As the domestic myth of unaccounting or origin holds, a home burrows the spirit of the flame for as lo long as a gust makes a gust of it. Guest of it. As much, much as the moon takes liberty with the sun rays, the moon is an arch, arch thief, and her pale fire is sn she snitches from the sun. You're almost Mark Twain. You're almost certain Mark Twain said that. John, toss game bro into fire. It doesn't burn as quickly as you hoped. Each game bro magazine is guaranteed to be printed on. 40% recycled asbestos. <laughs> for for big ups to Mother Earth, yo. Yo. John, finally, regard cremation. You examine the sacred urn containing your deport, departed Nana's acid. Uh, <laughs> 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 Why? <laughs> <laughs> Why? <laughs> <laughs> I swear we're mature. <laughs> we are. <laughs> we're not. No. Oh, do really you know not. how long we've been recording? Um, we got a minute left. Okay. Good timing, though. You examine the sacred urn containing your departed Nana's ashes. ashes. Your your father gave gives her a portrait of wistful, a wistful glance now and then. You can tell it brings back painful memories. A tall bookshelf, a ladder, and an unabridged Colonel Sacrages. Whatever that's where it is. He never wants to talk about it. John, top of urn. You clumsily mishandle the sacred urn. Ashes everywhere. In retrospect, upon mulling cinematic tropes regarding Ashfield urns, this outcome was a virtual certainty. You'd probably better clean it up before Dad finds it. John, combine Father's Pipe with Clever Disguise. You think now would be a good time to beef up your clever disguise. John, examine oversized gif. Champ, you can do anything if you put your mind to it. I believe in you. 
Contemplating what could be inside this package is sort of exciting, but it makes you a little nervous at the same time. John, open large present. Oh, is that the thing? Yep, that's an alarm. All right. So. so oops. I'm just going to, like, cut that out. This is like, the screen's going to go black. Probably went black there for a second. <laughs> in the yeah. next episode, we'll find out what's in this pr giant box box yes and then it'll be great i'm yeah. already on the next page sorry ah don't worry i'm editing this one so yeah okay. you're well, the remember you're the fallback plan yay yeah just like in sports <laughs> <laughs> that's why i don't play sports i'm the fallback plan then yep well well Sorry. Sorry. Uh, oh, I was talking to my computer. Oh. But I was. Oh, okay. I well, was... Oh, okay. Well, if you if you like this steps, well, this thing of Homestuck, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. You can watch our last episode of Homestuck too. That that's cool. And. Be sure to visit our small little town again. Yeah, that'd be pretty great. Yeah, it would. Well, bye. Bye. <laughs>